All right, and it's probably appropriate that I go last because often the job of the journalist is to listen to folks like, especially Lauren there, um, trying to spin you. So on budget day, it's kind of like the big day of spin. You have people like Lauren on one hand, you have the government on the other hand, and everybody's trying to push their agenda, push their ideas, and it all comes to a head on budget day. So it can be exhausting for a journalist, but it's kind of all there in black and white as well. Like the government will put together a uh, press release for us when we arrive. Can you all hear me? Yeah. And uh, when we go into lockup, we're sitting down and we look through uh, all of the highlights that the government is saying, these are the most important things that you need to watch for. And then we leave from that room after spending a couple hours there kind of dissecting all of the things that they're looking at. And we meet with people like the Taxpayers Federation, like the Chamber, and uh, we hear from them about what they wanted to see, what they didn't end up seeing, and we're hearing from them about their kind of complaints on the budget side of things and, and what they didn't see in the budget. And for us, I think the most important thing to remember is reporters and journalists aren't accountants. We don't necessarily have a background in finance, but we're good at telling stories and putting things into context. So our, the best thing that I can do on a budget day is to try to put that document into the context of the year and talk about the story that this budget is telling for Manitobans and why it matters to them. So the biggest and probably most important one uh, that I've covered in my short time here in Manitoba was in 2013 when the PST was increased. Uh, that obviously came on the heels of tough financial times in Manitoba and uh, so we had to tell that as part of, as part of the story but the story from that ended up going on in the days and weeks hence, and the storyline from the government changed uh, from that first day, that money, that PST increase would be spent on, we were told, education, healthcare, hospitals, roads, all of these things. And then that message was whittled down to, no, 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 this is just for infrastructure money. And so that message inherently changed for the media. So that's, I think, what we, the role that we have to play. We have to follow the politicians, yes, on budget day, but it's the days after that are probably more important because those are the, those are the days that we're trying to hold them to account for the promises that they make on budget day. Um, this year, the thing that I'm going to be most looking for is how has the leadership race uh, that the NDP is going through impacted um, the budget? Uh, we, we saw that the, because of the infighting, the government might not have a fall session. Uh, because of a lot of pressure, they ended up having a fall session. It's not mandatory, but they often do. Uh, so we're going to want to see what happens with this spring budget as well. And one of the things that I'm particularly going to be looking for is Teresa Oswald just made a whole slew of campaign promises in her leadership race. So as the government tries to put itself back together, and as the NDP party tries to put itself back together. I'm going to look for some of the promises that she made, like the PST rebate and some other things uh, that she announced on the campaign trail and see, did that make its way in the budget? Is that perhaps an olive branch that uh, the government and Selinger is offering to Theresa Oswald to try to bring the party back together? So I guess what I'm trying to say is I think the most important thing that the journalist can do is it necessarily going to explain to you what expenditures and GDP ratios are, um, but to try to listen to the people who are, I guess, trying to spin you, and I say that in the nicest way I can, um, but to just put it into context. And like I said, that's not gonna just be on budget day, because for a lot of reasons, I think the budget day is probably the easiest day of my career, because it's all laid out right in front of me. I have everybody that I could ever want clipped right in front of me. Um, it's the days after that become more tricky and trying to follow the storylines and the promises that were made on that day. Thank you very much. Yes.